We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Philadelphia Phillies. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Martin Perez, Venezuelan left-hander, will be the man on the mound. And please, Zach, what do you got? Okay, hey, we're looking at a real solid starting pitcher right here. You take a look at that ERA, anywhere between three and a half and four. But I'll tell you what he does know how to do. He knows how to get people out, and he can minimize the damage. He knows how to control the running game. He does a lot of things right, and he does all those things. Expect a real solid performance in this one. Coming to the plate now, David Peralta. And we are set for baseball here this evening. These Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, fellas, they come in in the midst of a stretch where they've dropped six of their last nine. Yeah, Matty, in this sport at this level, you, you have to. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Game time temperature tonight 62 degrees, but should drop into the 50s before we're done. The 1 1 home. Outside and a full count, three and two. Heading out towards shallow right. Harper has a read on it, and that's the first out of the inning. That second. The second baseman, Peter Jeanette. Here's the second baseman, Scooter Jeanette, and he's a guy really in need of something to click at the plate right now. It's been a rough go for him. First offering on its way. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a cold strike. And set up working the plate is Matthew Ross, as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. Hey, D. Rowe, this is a pitcher's best friend. Matthew Ross, very wide strike zone. Yeah, no excuses from the offense today. You know coming in, when you see the lineup card and Matt Ross is behind the dish, you better be aggressive. Count now a ball and a strike. A 1-1. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right. And that'll move the count to 1-2 and two now. Bases are empty, one man out. Nope. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it, two and two. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Any time a pitcher locates a fastball from the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Eduardo Escobar. Eduardo Escobar standing in as he will line this one into right center and this is going to get down and should be extra bases around first is Escobar on his way to second and he'll make it to second base now with two gone and this might be the kind of a B that gets him out of this slump smart hitting here just going with the pitch using the whole field instead of trying to do too much the results speak for themselves. Christian Walker and there you see the numbers over his last eight contests he's really been leading the charge for this team here's the first pitch to him in her third let go it's a cold strike have to find a way to get that guy home from second now never know how important these early runs can be. Oh, 
Ready with the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Okay, I know we're only in the top of the first, but back breaking blows are those two out runners in scoring position knocks, and they have a chance to capitalize right here. Boy, Giro, you touched him right there. I think as a pitcher, you try to get through that first. It's through. Let's see if they send him around to try to score. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1 0. Boy, after scoring a boatload yesterday, Diego dropped a fast start again, striking here in the first inning. Yeah, this offense is on fire. Obviously, the hit meeting resonated with these guys. Scored a ton yesterday and picked up right where they left off. At the plate, Patel Martin. And he'll take a look at ball one. Comes into this one at 271. Eight home runs, and he's driven in 24. One and one to count. Now a throw over. He's good. He'll get back in safely. More. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Walker on at first with two gone. Throw over to the bag hey. and he'll dive back in safely. The 2 1 pick. Yeah. It's the outside corner for the second strike. Here now the 2 2. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Two out with the man at first. And there's a base hit on the line. Oh, and he botches it. Walker blows through the stop sign, headed for home. He will score, and they now lead by two. Wow, that error has got to really sting. Anytime a run scores because of an error, it eats at you, but especially when he comes around from first, he wasn't even in scoring position when the play started. Calhoun will stand in now as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Here's the 0 1. Hey. Circle change and a beauty. It's 0 and 2. I know he's been struggling early, but that pitch right there, well executed changeup. If he can mix that in, maybe he hangs around for a little while longer. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. No, He's a veteran out on that mound. He understands he has to establish that inside fastball to open up the outer half of the plate. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. So two runs on three hits, one Philly error, and one man left on. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. Arizona's on top, two to nothing. Brad Keller will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matty B, this ought to be exciting. This is one of the top young pitchers in the game right now. He keeps getting better. He keeps learning. If he continues at this pace, this guy has a chance to be one of the more reliable pitchers in the game. Gene Segura standing in. He'll leave things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading up for the Philly, the shortstop, Gene Segura. Now the pitch. 
pulled high in the air out to left field. Peralta is under it. One away. The left fielder, Andrew. Said to get his evening at the plate started, Andrew Benintendi. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. A ball of no strikes. Well, guys, you take a look at this Diamondback squad as they begin play here tonight. Four and two over the last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matty, I can't tell you how important it is to throw that first run up on the board. And that's exactly what they did. A little crooked number, a two spot, to give their pitcher a chance to relax and go out and pound the strike zone. This team has been playing red hot baseball recently. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. That'll find its way out of play. Still going to have a good hitter's count. Two and one now. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with all speed. And he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate here as that misses. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Throw gets him, two down. are empty here with two gone and that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. First offering on its way. Now the one and one pitch. Two out, nobody on. Fouled away. The next one, two pitch. Rip down the first base line. This is a foul ball. This is a ball steady at one and two. Another one sent foul. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. Try again, one, two. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Nothing across here this half. On now to the top half of inning number two. Diamondbacks lead this one two to nothing. Stepping up now, Carson Kelly. I'll show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Here comes the first pitch. Now, fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. That's wide, 2 and 0. Oh. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. Oh. 
And this one's over at the knees, two and one. Three balls and a strike to Carson balls, Kelly. Balls, now this is a leadoff at bat. Great patience, and he's just waiting for that pitch that's too good to pass up. Grounder down the line at third, but this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. A shot down the first baseline, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And he struck him out. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him that when the swing it. came through the, the zone. I have to think he was Nick. looking for something on oh, speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. To the plate now, Nick Ahmed. And his first pitch swinging here as he lines this one into left field for a base hit. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup? I mean, even the eight, nine hole hitters are solid big league players. You know, Mark, these days, you're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. You're in that starting lineup these days. There's a pretty good job you can swing that. Standing in now, Brad Keller. And they'll try to stay out of the double play here as he lays this one down. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now back, left fielder, David Peralta. Now at the plate, David Peralta, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Even though it's early on in this one, anytime you get runners in scoring position, you'd like to knock them in. Woo! Popped him up. Turner has room in foul territory, and that retires the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. On now to the bottom of the second. It's the D-backs, too. Phillies nothing. So coming to the plate, Reese Hoskins. And you can see he really enjoys hitting here at Citizens Bank Park, which is not a shocker. It's a good place to be a hitter. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Count one and oh. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. One ball, one strike. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Here's the pitch. Back count two and two. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And he makes the throw to first. Hoskins retired and there's one away. Stepping in, Justin Turner. As you check out his righty left, he splits. No surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Ball inside. Ball no two. offer on that one. Two balls and a strike.
swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Calhoun. He leaves his feet, but it's off the wall. Well, this guy has proven he can make some athletic play in the field. And he takes a piece of route to the baseball here. But I'm not sure anybody is going to bring this one in. Ends up out of his reach and bangs up off the wall. Here's Jay Bruce now. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. a fourth fastball in this situation. I'm going to eliminate the fastball if I'm at the plate right here. One out and a runner on second base. Off the plate that time and a little high. It's even at two and two. Fouled away. Uh, two two. These are the kind of A.B.'s regardless of the outcome. You go back to the dugout as an offensive player and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. 3-2 pick. Pulled hard but it's foul down the first base side. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. And that misses for ball four. And with first base open, the last thing he wanted to do was give him something to hit the heart of the zone. So no harm done. Force out anywhere now. Standing in, Zach Collins will get to take his first cuts here. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Second with one away. Chopper to short. Jeanette has it for one. And the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. That was good. A high degree of difficulty to play that time. To see the off balance throw to second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. Into the box now, Logan Forsythe, and their runners at the corners now. Here's the first pitch to him. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Runners on first and third, two away. And it's quickly 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes and that will retire the side. Phillies leave a couple. They trail things here two to nothing.
in Philadelphia, home of the Phillies, who've certainly benefited from some solid pitching all season long. With one of the best team ERAs in the league, it's pretty clear they command a lot of attention and praise. Before the game, one pitcher told me that he thinks their success comes in large part due to their strikeout abilities, a category where they also rank near the top of the league. He said, even when we do get ourselves into trouble, most of us can dial up a strikeout and help get ourselves out of it. And that makes a huge we difference to the in the of the season. The Power base. arms and nasty Scooter. stuff. Apparently, that is Jeanette. the key to pitching, guys. Okay, thank you, Heidi. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. And this is swung on and bounced to Forsythe at second. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. The third baseman, number five, Eduardo Escobar. Here's the Philadelphia manager on his way out to the mound now, and he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So he will curiously make his way to the dugout after what has to be considered a very brief appearance. With Zach Eflin is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Eduardo Escobar head to head at the start of play against Zach Eflin. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. First pitch on its way. And he fouls this one off. The 0 1 pitch. Left hander Warren up one. and throwing in that Philly bullpen. One one. Takes a pass and misses. That's one strike ball, two. Two. Fouled off. One out, nobody on. And another foul ball. Here he comes again, one, two. Short for Segura. And the throw is wide as it pulls the first baseman off the bag. Man, there's just no excuse for a middle infielder to make a play like that, especially your shortstop. Looked like a routine play, but for some reason, he just pulled the first baseman off the bag. It happens, but you never want to give a team extra outs. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. Here comes the first baseman, Christian Walker. He's set. Here it comes. Runners on first with one down. One ball and one strike to the Diamondbacks' first baseman. Laid off for ball two. Everything this guy throws moves. That two seamer has a mind of its own. The two one home. He swung on and missed, and that's strike two. That's not a pitch he misses very often. He knows he should have done something with that one. Yeah. 
swing and he pops him up and that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. You know it's funny the first two strikes are for the fans. You're trying to put balls in the seats right there. With two strikes it's for the team. You've got to shorten up and find a way and that's exactly what he did right there. Soft liner into right field for a base hit. So now to the plate, Patel Marte. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. One, oh. one for one after a single this first time up. The 1-0. Oh. Hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. First and second now, one man out. Swing and a chopper down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. And this is going to get down for extra bases as that will get one, if not both of them home. Man, that swing looked like self-defense than a real quality now swing at eight. Right he muscled it out there, and oh. it was enough to get now him safely the second. Those are the kind of hits that would drive you nuts as a pitcher. Into the box, Cole Calhoun. And she'll go after oh, the first pitch yeah. to him and comes up empty at strike one. He struggled a bit coming out of the bullpen here, so he needed that strike. Maybe it settles him down a little bit. Hey. That's strike two on a well-placed changeup around the knees. Well, he's following the code not to miss down and into a lefty everything on the outer half of the plate. Second and third here, one man out. That misses one and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. High in the air out to center field. On the move is Bruce. And he makes the play, but this should extend their lead as the runner tags from third. Cash in here as the run is in to score from third. Always productive to score runs when you can. And that sacrifice fly right there drives home the second run of the inning. Up next for Arizona, Carson Kelly, runner in scoring position with Sugan. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job keeping it close. It's bowl one. Two out here and a runner at second. Hey. Ball and a strike. The one one. Waves and misses for strike Count number two. One and two. Heading out towards shallow right. Harper is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. So two runs on two hits, one error, and one man left on base. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. He backs out in front, four to nothing. Bottom of the 
third down. And next will be the pitcher, Zach Eflin. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Into the windup, here comes the 0 1. I got one ball, one strike. Ball. And there's ball two now. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Now the 2 1 pitch. Line shot to first, and there's one away. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that will bring in the middle infielder, Gene Segura. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Segura. 30 years of age. He's a nine year major league vet. Wind up and the 0 1. Ball inside. Fastball well, close, but he didn't get it 2 and 1. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Marte is there. Two gone. Now that no one knew Andrew. And it and That'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First pitch on its way. And that's in there as well. 0 and 2 now. I got to count 0 and 2. Bases are empty here with two men out. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The next 0 2. Again, he sends it out of play. Two once more. Misses. That's one ball, ball one. Two strikes. Hit out towards second. And that is through into center field. The base hit. The throw into second. The tag. And they'll get him in second. And with that, the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney standing by with a report. Well, Matt, I had a chance to talk about the state of the D-backs offense with their manager between innings. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Looking at the numbers, they currently have four hits coming from at-bats where they were behind in the count. That indicates that these guys are absolutely battling at the plate and making it very difficult for the opposition to get them out. Thank you, Heidi. Stepping in now, back. Nick Ahmed. The shortstop. Nick. And that nope. one's in the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. A base hit in his first trip. Two and oh. Inside ball two. Outside and three. low, 3 and 0. Oh. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. 3 0 pitch. 
And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands at number four. Wow, if that's not a strike, I don't know what is. I know these subs have a tough job. I get it. We'll see if he gets the next borderline call or if there are any makeup calls coming up. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Brad Keller. He successfully laid down a sack bunt in his last plate appearance. And not easy to do in today's game. High velocity, exploding break and stuff. He executed that sack bunt perfectly. And the pitcher is, in fact, bunting here as he puts this one down. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Up next to the diamond battle, the left unit, David Stepping in, David Peralta. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. First pitch of the at bat. Swing and he pops him up. Segura into shallow left. Lays out and he's got it. A great play for out number two. Now back. Second base. Peter Jeanette. So two are gone now in the Diamondbacks fourth. And up to hit next, a guy who's turned into a big time RBI man, Scooter Jeanette. First pitch on its way. And that's taken for strike one. Four runs, six hits. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Two balls and a strike to Jeanette. All even now, two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Four down, three, two. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And there's ball four as this one gets away a bit. I know one thing. He earned that free now pass back. right there. The he was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed That's disciplined and drew the walk. Eduardo Escobar. He's one for two in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Cold strike at the letter, Joe and one. That elevated fastball right there. That is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working that Greg Maddox east to west. The 0 and 1 delivery. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? That's lifted the other way out to left. Ben Intendi will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. Back with more on this fine Saturday night following this. Something going here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Here we go. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Yank high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Oh 
one and two now. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. Looking to punch him out again. The pitch. Popped him up. Walker over to his right. One out. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring in a perennial MVP candidate for years to come, Reese Hoskins. And that's on the outside corner for a strike. Wind up and the 0 1. one. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1, but now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. Squared that one up just a little late. Late making contact on that swing and we'll do it again on one and two. Now the pitch. This is drilled but right into the ship. And that's through for a hit. Hey guys, he doubled up right there. Back to back sliders. Nice job by the batter right there. Just misses the first one, makes the adjustment, stays a little shorter, and drives the next pitch for a base. At the plate now, Justin Turner. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Ready, here's the 0 1. Stays alive, still 0 and 2. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. One two off and looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. No runs, three hits, and two errors so far on the Philadelphia line score. Had him off balance a bit as this is skied into short left center. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And I thought this at-bat was over. Down 0-2. Oh, wow. He was able to work yeah. himself back into yeah. the hitter's count. 2-2. Two, two. Mm -hmm. He's able to find the knockout. The plate now. Jay Bruce. Ball that First pitch down. misses to him. It's ball one. The numbers on the year, 272. 11 home runs and 29 driven in. Now the 1 0. Hit out towards second. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And the throw in gets away from him. But they'll catch a break as the runners are going to stay where they are here as there's no advance. You know, deal with the old school thinking sometimes is when you're going through a bad streak like this guy, any way you can get on a little jam shot, even though it wasn't pretty, maybe this could get this guy finally going. Yeah, I can't tell you how good that had to feel right there. There's moments where you slap that donut off the bat, you don't even want to walk on that you're scuffling it so bad. No balls and a strike to count. Ready with the 0-1. Into the gap in left center. This is down and it'll head for the wall. One run scores. Now a third runner heading for the plate. And he's safe 
half at the plate. The deficit is down to only one now. Base is loaded, and he was looking to drive them all in the second he stepped into the box. Well, it's a big swing on this thing, and the ball just gets down to the wall, allowing everyone to come around and score. He'll take a three-run double every day of the week. Into the box now, Logan Forsythe. He swings and misses at a first-pitch fastball, 0-1. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the stretch. And oh, that's 1 and 1 as this one's in on the hand. Three runs already home here. Hey. 1 and 2 now. Side of the infield. Walker camps under it and he's got it for route number two. Now back. The pitcher. Eflin. So striding in, Zach Eflin. As he'll look to bring home that tied run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. All one, no well play. below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. Fouled away. The one one tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball two and one. Good time to be a nine hole hitter right now. It's more than likely going to get a good pitch to hit. The top of the order is looming on deck. Good spot to be a good hitter oh, right there. And it misses three and one now. Gene Segura will be next. The three and one pitch. This is on the ground over the first. And that's through into right field for a base hit. Runner at third will put the brakes on here as he didn't want to chance it even with two out. Oh, the two outs and he extends the inning there with a base hit. Yeah, it's funny. I put eighth in my career and the grind was to try and get the pitcher up so you can waste that out and flip the lineup over. This guy took it into his own hands and did just that. By getting a knock, now we could have some issues here. Ball in the strike for the Phillies leadoff man. Runners at the corners, two men out. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Jeanette onto the grass and the score, the runner from third. Hey, you tip your hat to the batter for finding a way to find some green grass out there. Oh, oh man. That has to frustrate you, Dan. An executed pitch right there. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. Anytime you make a good pitch, and off the bat, it certainly didn't look like it was going to fall in for a base hit. You make a good yeah, pitch, but you don't necessarily yeah. always get the good yeah. results you want as a pitcher. Now it's Young. Drops in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Handed hitting Andrew yeah. Benintendi stands in. No balls in one strike. Young features one of the biggest yackers in the game. Her ball's got a ton of movement. The 0 1 offering. Down the way, boy. It is absolutely amazing how this game has just changed on a dime right here. Credit the offense put a big big inning together to get themselves right back in this game. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Young has pitched just under 60 innings. And with an ERA in the fives, has some work to do to bring it down into a more respectable range. 
four runs here in this half inning. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Nine men come to the plate, four score. On to the top of inning number five we go, and we are tied 4-4. Set for the start of the inning, and next the battle be the first baseman, Christian Walker. Now here's the pitch. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's one and all. A little over anxious that time as it's a ball and a strike. Comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Fastball, well outside. Taken off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the corner. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. 3-2 pitch. Swung on and missed for the first down. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. And now to tell Marte. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Hey. On the strike. Fifth inning here of a tie ball game, 4 to 4. Nope. Change up just off the black, and it's 2 and 1. Here's the pitch. There's the cold strike he was looking for. Two and two now. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch, and for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Box Cole Calhoun. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. He hit a sack fly earlier. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a cold strike. Turner in the shallow left. He can't get to it. This one's down. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep oh, his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. And Kelly. Ball one. And he lays off there. 1 0. No hits to this point. That one's a cold strike. Back even at one. Nice adjustment out on the mound. 
overthrew the first one a little bit, but got on top and let that ball rip right out in front of him. A runner on first with two away. Oh, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive in a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. Chases out of his own for strike three, and that's the third out of the inning. One left for Arizona to the bottom of the fifth, halfway home, all even at four. back from Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said it was clear his guys were locked into their at-bats from the very first pitch. And that's something they emphasized in the pregame meetings. He's happy they got the message, as now they've gotten into the bullpen. And they put up some solid run production in the early part of this game. Thank you, Heidi. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that will bring up Bryce Harper. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Ball and nearly got the inside to rule the ball. The 1-0. Misses for the second ball. Talk about certain guys in the lineup that you want to be really careful with. This guy right here is one of those, and you can tell he's pitching awfully cautiously. And it's fouled away. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. And a big swing and a miss here, two strikes. 88 on a changeup. I remember when an 88 mile an hour fastball wasn't all that bad. Man, the game's changing. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. Another 2 2 offering. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third, and no swing. It's ball three. to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And that yeah, misses ball. ball four Great now. Thing. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that in the end and end up walking him than serving on up or keep it really hurt. And that will bring up the Sacramento product, Bruce Hoskins. He singled in two trips for the plate thus far. in the air out to straightaway center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Phillies go down quietly there. Five innings complete. This ball game's even at four and four. Francisco Liriano takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 47, Francisco Sixth about to get started, and that means that Nick Ahmed will be the next to bat. Nick Ahmed. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Count one and zero. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's one and zero. That evens 
it up one and one. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. One one. Swung on and missed for strike number two. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And now a slider in on the hands, and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him. Here's the pitch on two and two. Rip down the line. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Francisco Cervelli move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gun in the inning. Francisco Cervelli. Started a breaking ball far too inside that time, laid off for ball one. And he's got that batting line up near the 300 mark entering play. The 1 0. And it's taken strike one. David Peralta. From the stretch. count here's the pitch four four is our score as we play the sixth swung on and he went fishing in the dirt throw to first is in time and the inning is over so we go quietly here in this half inning Sixth, seventh, and eighth place hitters do up in the bottom of inning number six, and we are tied 4-4. Taylor Clark enters to do the now pitching in the bottom Arizona. of the sixth. Number 45, Taylor Clark. Bottom of the sixth inning now, coming forward the veteran outfielder, Jay Bruce. The center fielder. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Tried to check it and it's 0 and 1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And now some action in that Arizona bullpen as it looks like they'll have both the lefty and the righty up the throw. The 1-1. And he 
fouls this one off. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. out and the offering now a swing and a fly ball Calhoun coming on but this will land untouched and he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there but he lays off one and two Takes the change up the other way out toward right center. Calhoun giving chase. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. One left for Philadelphia. Six innings are in the books, all square, four to four. Morgan Rodriguez is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 24, Morgan Rodriguez. So here's Scooter Jeanette. It was a walk in his last trip. The second baseman, Scooter Jeanette. Here comes the first pitch. 
starts him out with the cutter and he gets him to swing through at one strike. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Fouled off. Here it comes, 0 and 2. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. The next 0 2. Popped up. And they'll put this one away for the first down of the inning. The third base, number five, Eduardo Escobar. Stepping up to the plate, Eduardo Escobar. He flew out in his last at bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Fouled away. him up. Collins is there. Two down. The bat. The first baseman. Christian Walker. Next will be the cleanup hitter. Christian Walker. So far two for three in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Yeah. Here's the 0 1. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. And he'll fall behind now to 1 and 2. Knotted up 4 4 the score here in the seventh. Able to protect the plate with two strikes and he'll see another one. The next one two pitch. Ball two. Two two. Yep. Fouled away. Three, three called, and the inning is over. Nine the bats down in order. Still all square at four feet. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, up there. Swing and a liner, but foul. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. Right side. And that will get through into right. So there's your possible go ahead run on base to lead off the inning. Never want to be able to do it. Breaks a guy out of the room. This guy was too good. He knew it was a matter of time before he started battling. That gives him a multi hit game, and I'm sure he's going to. For the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. He'll dive, but he's back. It's 
stepping in now, Andrew Benintendi. Nope. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Runs outside, so it goes for two and now. He's going back to back with off-speed stuff to start this AB, and neither has found the zone. He's trying to pitch him backwards, but that only works if you can get them for strikes. Now he'll probably have to challenge him. He pulls this one into right, but this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first down. The right fielder, Bryce Harper now, over two on his line thus far. A set and the pitch. Get hard back up the middle. Bare handed for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Down quickly go the Phillies. This game's all tied at four. Summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Number 50. Ready to begin the eight. And next to be the outfielder, Patel Marte. Patel Marte. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Here's a cold strike about thigh high. Nothing won. Two. So two and two now. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hat. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. Two two. It's a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in the swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome how teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. To the plate now, Cole Calhoun. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. with the 0-1. We're in the eighth inning now of a 4-4 ball game. Bouncer to the left side. Turner has it. Throw on the first and get him short. 5-3 on the foot out, though it looked more like a 6-3 throw. Nevertheless, there are two away to the Digging in, Carson Kelly sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, that's good. Low for ball one. Two out, nobody on. It's a base hit in the left field. Now batting, football, Nick Arno. Into the box now, Nick Ahmed. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. A hit in two tries for him so far. The 
swung on and bounced to Forsythe at second. On the first, and this will remain a high ball game as the inning is over. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Home half of the eighth straight ahead, and we are tied 4-4. be the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Reese Hoskins. Really, it was a double play that came last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two-ball for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. First pitch of the at-bat. Tried to check it in its own one.
giving chase his Benintendi, but he doesn't have a chance. It's over his head. And he is in the second base with one away as the go ahead run. Man, it looked like the pitcher was trying to get him to go fishing at a pitch out of the strike zone. He yeah. went for it all right, but then he managed to catch all of that baseball, lacing it for a double in the outfield. That's a great piece of hitting. Standing in now, Scooter Jeanette. That's a ball. Yes, he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Hey. And he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him. One and one. The one and one pick. Oh, that's a and one. Able to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him, and the watching this at the bat, top. it's clear to me that his rhythm right. and timing, they're That's just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. At the plate, Eduardo Escobar. And this one gets away. And the recovery is not going to be in time at third, and that should be ruled a wild pitch. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. The 1-0. Oh, that's it. Now 2-0 with a great hitter up, a runner on third and two outs. This is not the spot where you want to be challenging a hitter like this. This is where you have to pitch. Very careful. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with two down. Challenged him in that spot right there. Didn't love the location. But I gotta be honest with you, I think he's got him on his heels right now. Don't be shocked if he attacks his own again. Back up the middle. And he delivers with two outs in the ninth. It's a base hit. Go-ahead run will score from third as they've taken the lead here in the late going. Yeah, and you'll take RBIs any way you can get them. But when they give your team the lead in the late innings, man, that feels good. Oh, it especially does, especially when you start to score runs late in the game. Off the quality pitching, when runs are at a premium, that's what makes you feel really good about yourself. Victor Verano takes over now with two gone here in the top of inning number nine. Now, Christian Walker. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Hey. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. to send him packing pitch on its way boy he sped him up in this at bat now it's time for the changeup this guy's got a good one and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat the one two offered at and missed he chased it for strike three a run on a couple of hits here for Arizona 
Arizona. Bottom part of the order, seven, eight, and nine. You up in the bottom of inning number nine. Arizona's on top, five to four. Archie Bradley, with the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the ninth. In now, Zach Collins. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. Has to put the ball in play. One ball, no strikes to count. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it through the backstop. One and one, here it comes. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Bradley, originally from the Sooner State of Oklahoma. He was a first-round pick back in 2011. Yeah, Matty, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name. The kids are buying his jersey. He's falling behind now. Three and one. This is taken for ball four. So just like that, the time runs aboard to start the home half. Well, there's only a one-run push to play with, so he's got to be upset after he walked the leadoff man here. The go-ahead run comes to the plate, and there are no outs. This could be a very interesting inning. Digging in once again, Morgan Forsythe. They'll be looking for something to drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first.
two balls and a strike now. Two and one on its way. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. Philly down to their last strike. Liner towards second. In there, base hit. Well, I think it's safe to say the ice is melted on this guy. He had been cold coming into this game. But that being said, Taylor, I guarantee you, my man's smiling. Andrew Benintendi. And he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. It was the last chance with the time and winning runs on base and two men gone here in the ninth. And this ball swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. He's got it, and the Diamondbacks have taken the first two games of this series on the road. This one is over. Well, that's just a great job of battling on the road. They fought all the way to the end, took the lead in the top of the ninth, and secured the W in the bottom half. That's a great team win. This evening's game comes to an end 5-4 for the final tally. The Diamondbacks came through, and it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Taylor Clark gets the win in relief the second of the year. Archie Bradley records the save his 16th of the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Wachty, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB.